Nazir! Nazir, the dead woman spoke to KB. By Sithis, what a mess. I guess this is the end. No, yes. The Night Mother has promised us more killings. Yes. What? Well, what did she say? She said for KB to tell you that she will kill the Emperor anyway. Yes. Where's that Motier guy? Armand Motier? But that would mean... Yes, he's hanging around somewhere, probably. And the Emperor is probably actually in Skyrim and not just a decoy. You mean there's still a chance? Yes. But how? Our plan has gone to ruin. Everyone is dead. The family... Everything is dead. It's wonderful. <laughs> KB will act alone now. She will punch the Emperor in this snoot. Hmm. All right, then. Go. Go, my listener. Soon. Find out what that slimy bastard Motier has to say. Then send the Emperor to Sithis. Ah, but when you're done, there's no use returning here, is there? I was thinking, the Dawnstar Sanctuary. We could make a proper home there. Yes. Listen, when you're finished with this Emperor business, meet Babette and me there. I'll find some way to move the Night Mother. Don't worry. Now go. And come back with a barrel full of gold, huh? Maybe we'll come back with something. Yes. I bet, my girl, pack your things. We're moving. Probably that something is a giant bounty on KB's head. Yes. I think I got the clean mug around here somewhere. What is it? I said I didn't wish to be disturbed. Hello, Motier. KB is in a very good mood today. Yes. So. KB believes we have unfinished business. By the gods! You... you're alive! <laughs> but I had heard... your sanctuary! Please, you mustn't think I had anything to do with that. I wanted the Emperor dead! The true Emperor! I still do! It was Morrow! He... KB also wants the Emperor to be dead. Where is the Emperor? You mean, after all that's transpired, the Dark Brotherhood will still... Honor the contract? Yes. Why, this is astounding news! Wonderful news! <laughs> the Emperor is still in Skyrim, but not for long. He's on board his ship, the Cataraya, moored offshore in the Solitude Inlet. But you must hurry. If you can get on board that ship, kill Titus Mead II as contracted, I will reveal the location of the dead drop that holds your payment. So this ship is already on the river? Yes? And he's just anchored out there? How's Kebby supposed to get on board? Yes. Well, I don't know. It's in the Solitude Inlet. That's the channel just north of the docks. I suppose you should go to the docks and swim? Well, please, make haste. Be careful. The Emperor's ship won't stay moored forever. I never thought that I... And Kirby's a golden turkey. Kirby's a golden turkey. Will the Emperor today? Please get on board the ship and kill the Emperor. KB didn't have a plan. At this point, she was sure she didn't need one because KB was the chosen one. The fates had chosen her for something. Obviously not for something mundane like dying in the river. Aside from that, the guards would never expect this. <sighs> and that's the last one. All right, enough of this. It's okay. Gaby has come to save you from your life of servitude. Oh, he's very drafty in here. Should close all the doors, yes. This one too. Gaby had the butterflies in her tummy about meeting the Emperor. What would she say to him? Should she try a witty one-liner or should she just stab him in the back? Yes. Or, even better, KB had some preference for the fire spells. Perhaps she could give a taste of the same medicine to the Emperor as he intended for the Brotherhood. Is someone there? Um, meow. KB is just a humble house cat brought on board to eat the build rats, yes. Yes, your intruder is over there, KB. Per, 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 per. Well, well. Oh, goodness sake! Like one of the <laughs> huh? Where is the Emperor? Tell KB or this entire boat gets the snoot punching! <laughs> <laughs> you are all pathetic! 
Lazy fat pathetic! KB has fought mud crabs stronger than you! Yes. Come on! Where is your damn emperor? KB didn't come here to play with his idiot friends! <laughs> Well, here is the throne. Where is the Emperor? KB murdered everyone. She was beginning to think she'd been duped yet again. But then she realized she'd overlooked one door. And once more, I prove Commander Morrow the fool. I told him, you can't stop the Dark Brotherhood. Never could. Come now, don't be shy. You haven't come this far just to stand there gawking. Oh, well, hello there, King Hoity Toity Beardman. KB supposes you were expecting her, yes? But of course. But of course. You and I have a date with destiny, but so it is with assassins and emperors, hmm? Oh, yes, Posh. Yes, I must die. Yes. And you must deliver the blow. Yes. It is simply the way it is. Yes. But I wonder. Would you suffer an old man a few more words before the deed is done? KB has killed everyone on this boat. You may speak as you please, yes. Well, I thank you for your courtesy. You will kill me, and I have accepted that fate, but regardless of your path through life, I sense in you a certain ambition. <laughs> so, I ask of you a favor. <laughs> an old man's dying wish. While there are many who would see me dead, there is one who set the machine in motion. This person, whomever he or she may be, must be punished for their treachery. Once you've been rewarded for my assassination, I want you to kill the very person who ordered it. Would you do me this kindness? Oh yes, this would be a great way to ruin the reputation of the guild. No, Kepi does not do favors for free. Yes. You pay her. <laughs> Pity. I had hoped to obtain even a modicum of justice. Oh, poor baby. Well, on to the business at hand, then, hmm? Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> you were hoping that KB would let you die with dignity, yes? KB is sorry. You are speaking to the wrong assassin. Enjoy your flaming explosion. If you were so eager to accept death, you could have died by the poison potage. Or whatever it was. Now they will find you charbroiled and naked. If you need anything, or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. Aha! You're back. The king exploded into flame and Kaibi was there. Of course, she is perfectly innocent, yes. I know, I know! I received the news not moments ago. Ha <laughs> ha! This is glorious! My friend, you may not realize it, but you have served the Empire, indeed all of Tamriel, in ways you cannot possibly imagine. Ah, but you care little for politics, am I right? You want money, and money you shall have. Your payment waits for you at a dead drop. It is inside an urn, in the very chamber where we first met, in Volenrood. Now please, go. Collect your money, and let us never look upon one another again. Our business, thank the gods, is concluded. Ah, <laughs> you don't like KB? But KB has such pretty fur, yes. For KB's trouble, she was awarded 20,000 gold. She had never killed the Emperor before, so she wasn't sure if she was being shafted. But KB supposed it was really more about the journey than the destination. Yes. Hello, Nizir. KB hopes you've been holding down the fort while KB has been destabilizing the nation. Well, what word of the Emperor? He burst into horrible flame just as he tried to inflict upon us. Yes. Truly? Yes. Could you have brought us more wondrous news? Recent events notwithstanding, this is a happy day for us, my friend. It was a happy day in general. Despite your misfortunes, you stayed true to the Dark Brotherhood. You've saved us all. And for this, you have my eternal thanks. Oh, you. Now, of course, I must ask. Killing the Emperor, how much did Motier pay for such a thing? Well, he gave us 20,000 gold. KB is not sure if this is a good or bad deal, but KB has 20,000 gold now, yes. Ha! Remarkable. Well, the old bastard certainly made it worth your while, didn't he? Yes. Now, might I offer some advice? You should go to Riften and find Delvin Mallory. I believe Astrid had you visit him once before. Yes. 
Mallory is an expert obtainer of goods. We can use the money to repair and refit the sanctuary. Make a true home for us, huh? You do that, and I'll see what I can do about recruiting some new additions to our family. Ah, yes, okay, KB is the broker now. It sounds like the most interesting part of her work is over with that. Somewhat anticlimactic, but KB supposes someone has to do you the dirty deed of buying death. things for the place. In a moment like this, KB might reflect and say she felt empty. But it wasn't true. She didn't feel empty, she felt perfectly fine. Everything went KB's way. It's just that KB was maybe hoping for a cake with candles on it, yes. KB's mother never did this for her, she only murdered gods. It is done. Emperor Titus Mede II lies dead. Dead. And the Dark Brotherhood yet lives. Lives, yes. But our work is just beginning. Yes. Approach me, listener. And hear my words. Maybe learned a new recipe for potage. Yet another child has prayed to their mother. It's what Kebby did today, she learned. Speak this. with the indolent farmer at the Villamere Inn in Iberstead. Yes, Nightclub. Accept his goal. Soon. Then kill the target. Soon. So begins a contract bound in black. Yes, soon. Kebby is now the world's greatest chef, and she will do the contract, yes. It only occurred to Kebby about the chef thing just now, yes. Cicero! Cicero! You will not believe this. You were right all along, and had you killed Astrid, you would have saved Kebby a lot of trouble, yes. Oh, yes, it is Cicero. <laughs> you are a fool to spare me. What did you think I would be grateful? Cicero should be listener, not you. Now you will die. <laughs> KB will break your legs and shove them into your anal cavity. <laughs> gotcha! Oh, yeah. Oh, listener, you should see the look on your face. <laughs> <laughs> you are good, Cicero. Oh. Cicero has returned, not to kill the kind listener, but to serve until one of us dies horribly in service to our mother. Best friends forever. <gasps> BFFs, yes. In the meantime, I'll make myself at home in the sanctuary. I'm sure mother needs tending. Oh, Cicero, you're a good man. From one crazy person to the next, KB now had business with Skuma Cat's friend. Khajiit. Hello. Your friend hates the Thalmor and KB is here. Really? You're who she picked? I hope she knows what she's doing. Here's the deal. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. The Thalmor takes security very seriously. Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. Okay, KB relies heavily on enchanting, so her entire set of armor, yes. You're asking me? She promised that she was sending someone who knew what they were doing. If you actually want to get out alive, I'd bring whatever you need to move quietly and kill quickly. Oh gosh, that sounds much over Kirby's head, yes. Okay, Kirby is ready, here you go. Okay, I'll get this inside the embassy for you. I've gotta go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. Okay, that should do it. Kirby might be able to kill a few people, yes. Your job is to get into the party without being fingered as a spy. I'll take care of the rest. Do you not see KB stripped down and gave you everything she had? <laughs> we will be fine, yes. Have you given have you given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? KB is naked now, yes. She hopes that your next plan is some master stroking. Good. <laughs> I have your invitation to the party. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Maybe it's the gourmet. Which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Here, put this on. When you're ready, I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Melbourne smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. Okay, if this is a trick, KB will come back and explode your head. You can't go to a party at the Thalmor Embassy dressed like that. What? What is wrong with them for a Beardman's clothes? 
Fine, Kebby, where's your stupid party dress? You can't go to a party. Okay, the yes, the shoes too. Kebby was fine in the one she was at. like that. I guess that will have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the embassy? KB was born ready to be with the nobles. <laughs> yes. Don't worry, it will all be waiting for you when you get back. Just make sure you get back out of there alive with the information we need. Good luck. Don't worry, and good luck to you, Skoma Cat, with KB's valuables. KB would be furious if anything were to get scuffed. <laughs>